the old hospital, worn and abandoned, sat on the edge of town like a forgotten memory. One night, a group of friends decided to explore it. Alex, the brave leader Ryan, the doubtful but curious one and Emma, who always felt things a bit more, stepped into the decaying building with their flashlights. The place was eerily silent, filled with dust and a strange smell. As they moved down dark hallways, creaky floors beneath them, they started hearing distant whispers. The group exchanged uneasy looks, but Alex pushed on. Deeper into the hospital, the whispers grew like and seen voices pulling them in. In the middle of the hospital, the air turned cold and a mist formed. Ghostly shapes appeared, faint outlines of past patients and staff. Emma, sensitive to vibes, felt their lingering sadness. Ryan, initially not believing in ghosts, couldn't ignore the weird feeling in the air. They continued feeling like something was guiding them through the hospital's history. In a room frozen in time, old medical stuff lay around, rusty and forgotten. As they checked the artifacts, footsteps echoed, like an invisible someone was pacing around them. A flickering light caught their attention, revealing a shadowy figure in the doorway, someone in torn hospital clothes. Their hollow eyes stared, and a sad wail filled the silence. The group, scared, watched as the figure vanished into shadows. Determined, Alex led them to the abandoned psychiatric ward. The air got heavy, and a weird feeling settled. In the darkness, cries of forgotten souls seemed to echo like the walls remembered the pain of the Asylum's troubled past. As they explored, a dark force closed in. Doors slammed, and a cold chill filled the room. Emma, feeling too much, sensed a dark presence that fed on pain and suffering. A growl echoed, and they found themselves in an eerie light. Tormented faces appeared, and a shadowy form manifested feeding on their fear. Desperate, they retraced their steps through the haunted corridors. Whispers grew louder, and the dark force chased them. As they reached the hospital's entrance, a blinding light enveloped them, and the heavy feeling lifted. When they stepped outside into the cold night, the hospital stood silent and forgotten. The strange events left a mark on them. Alex, Ryan and Emma, changed by the encounter, promised never to talk about the dark force in the old hospital, a place where the line between the living and the dead blurred, and the echoes of pain lingered in the shadows.